We are down to three. At the end of this round, we'll move on to our final face-off with our last two competitors. The bank is currently at 6,500 yen. To spend in our prize suitcase with our prizes from Funimation, Right Stuff, Nozomi Entertainment, Sentai Filmworks, and NIS America. They've all got stuff in there. It's got lots of good things. All right. So, Beth, you have 800, Zach 13, Taylor 11. You've arranged yourselves how you want based on who had the most money. Let's put some more faces on the board. <laughs> All right, in this round, 300 to 900 are the amounts. So you can get really big, really fast on your score. Beth, we're going to start with you. You're in first position. Where are we going? Number five. All right. Number five has a value of 600 yen. Here is your question on number five. I think her microphone may be dead. Say something again, Beth. Yeah, Beth's microphone is dead. Try it again. Try it again? Hello? There we go. Okay, cool. Here's your question on number five. What gym is he leader of? Peter City? Is the right answer, yes. That puts you up to 1,400. The face comes off. Yeah, the easier the face, the trickier the question could be. You had to think about it. You had to think back to the original show. There they are. All right, Zach, you're up. What would you like? Give me number two. You want number two. All right, number two has a value of 300 yen. Here's your question on number two. What video game franchise spawned his anime? Dot Hack. Dot Hack is the right answer for two. 300 yen. All right. 1,600 for you. The face comes off. Taylor, where are we going? Number seven. Number seven. All right. Here is the question, oh, for 900 yen on this one, which will put you straight into first place. The question is, name the girl who dated his brother and who he has a crush on. Is it like Mari? What? Like Mari? Mori me, I can't accept that. No, audience? Mommy me. Mommy me is the right answer. All right. All right. Knew who that was immediately, which means the question's a little tougher. All right. That face comes off. We're at the end of the line, which means three more faces come onto the board, like so. All right, and Taylor, we're starting with you. Where are we going? Number three. Number three. All right. Number three has a value of 900 yen. Here's the question on number three. What action show is he from? Darker Than Black. Darker Than Black, that is right for 900 yen. All right, now you're in the lead. Hey, from Darker Than Black, face comes off. Zach, we now talk to you. Where are we going? Give me number two. Give you number two. All right, number two has a value of 900 yen. Here's the question on number two. Here it is. What horror show is he from? Ghost Hunt is incorrect. Audience, do you know it? Has anyone seen Shiki? Yeah, that's one of the two main characters from Shiki. That's uh, Toshio Ozaki. If you haven't, it's a fantastic show. No money for you. Face comes off. Beth, where are we going? Number five. Number five. All right. Number five is also worth 900 yen. The board is being very generous to you guys this round. Here's the question. What is her role at school? Uh, student president. Student council president will take it for 900 yen. Yes. All right. Face comes off. We've gone up the line. We've gone down the line. Time to add three faces and three face offs to the board. All right. Zach, you, have, you now have the least amount of money, so you are going first. Where are we starting? Number three. Number three. All right. Is there a face off behind number three? There's a face-off, Zach. You're in another face-off situation. Who are you going to play with? Beth. What's that? You're playing with Beth? All right. It's going to be Zach and Beth in our final face-off before we get down to two players. Who's going to win? Come on over here, gang. All right. Leave your microphone there. You got them over here. All right. Here we go. Okay. So, it's time. What do we have? Okay. So, we've got Beth. Zach back in his lucky spot. <laughs> All right. So here we go. The 
This is our final elimination before we decide who's going to be playing for all the marbles. The bank currently sits at 6,500 yen. It's going to get bigger, and we're going to be minus a player as we finish this round. All right. So, Forrest, congratulations. That means you get to go... Oh, no, uh, Taylor, sorry, Taylor. Uh, you get to go all the way to the final just for not being chosen. So congratulations. That means that the money that you won is yours to keep because you're guaranteed a spot in the final. So congratulations, you're already a winner. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to see who your opponent is going to be in the final face-off. So, first and foremost, nine new faces. All right. Now then, now then, now then, now then. I've got nine facts about all of these characters. You're going to buzz in, tell me the number, you're right, you get a point. If you're wrong, your opponent gets a free guess. Here is the first fact. It is the result of a scientific experiment. Zach. Number six. Number six. Sephiroth is the right answer. Yes. All right. Point for you. Face comes off. Next fact. Has a motorcycle called the Lonely Chaser. Beth. Number seven. Seven is incorrect. Zach, you get a free guess. Number three. Three is also incorrect. Don't say anything, audience. We put that back in the shuffle. It may come up again. Next fact. Is a negotiator and translator. Zach. Number two. Two is incorrect. Free guess, Beth. Number one. One is also incorrect. All right. We will put it back. Don't say anything, audience. Put it back into the shuffle. It may come up again. Next fact. Also known as Femto. Beth. Number two. Two is incorrect. Zach, free guess. Number nine. Number nine. That's right. Griffin from Reserve. All right. Zach, point for you. Face comes off. Score nothing for Beth. Two for Zach. Next fact. Is an exorcist, Beth? Number five. Of the Order of Magdalene. That is right. That's Rosette from Chrono Crusade. All right. And Beth has a point. Face comes off. Score two to one in Zach's favor. Next fact. Meets a naked man, Beth? Number eight. On a class trip. Saki Morini from Eat the East is the right answer. All right. Score is now tied at two. This is reminiscent of our last face-off. Next fact. Is in a death metal band. Beth. Number four. What's that? Four? Four is incorrect. Three guess, Zach. Number three. Number three. Soichi Negishi from Detroit Metal City is the right answer. If you haven't seen it, it's hilarious. All right, Zach. You now have three points, one more, and you move on to the final to play Taylor. All right. Beth, you need to get in here. Next fact. His catchphrase is Zach number one. I and that is the correct answer. That is happy from Fairy Tail and Zach, you move on. All right. Beth, Beth, the landing zone has some uh, energy drinks for you too, or some tentacle grape if that's what you prefer. So let's uh, let's give Beth a big round of applause. And Beth's money is going to go into the final. It's going to be Taylor, and it's going to be Zach, and they're going to come right back over here and play in the final for all the marbles right after this. face-off time. First, I've got good news for both of you. In the main game, Zach, you won 1,600 yen. That is yours to keep at this point. So that's 20 bucks to spend in our prize suitcase on anything you like. So congratulations. Taylor. Yes. Taylor, you won 2,000 yen in the main game, so you have 25 bucks to spend in the prize suitcase on anything that you like. So congratulations for that. Now, over the course of the game, we took away 3,500 yen from all of our departing contestants. We add that to the 5,000 that we started with. We're playing for an additional 8,500 yen in prizes. 
Uh huh. That's an extra hundred and ten dollars to spend in the prize suitcase. So you can get yourself some nice box sets if you're the winner here. They're in the final face-off, and we'll play it just the same way as we've done the previous face-offs. We'll show you nine faces. Someone's going to walk away with over ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. You both would get it. Okay. I see. That's my promise at the beginning of the game, and I deliver on my promises. All right. Here are the faces for the final face-off. All right, and again, I have nine facts in my hand. They have been randomized prior to the start of this game. First four wins 10,000 plus. All right, here is the first fact. Is involved in a literal gender war, Zach. Six. Six is incorrect. Free guess, Taylor. Um, number five. Five is also incorrect. It goes back into the shuffle may come up again. Next fact. Shares the same English voice actor as Brock and James in Pokemon. Alright, we'll put that back into the shuffle. It may come up again. Next fact. Steals cursed art pieces. Taylor. Number three. Three is right. Dark Mousy from Dead Angel. That's right. Taylor is on the board first. Face comes off. Taylor takes a 1-0 lead as we move on. <laughs> Next fact. Has brontophobia. Zach with shot. Number eight. Eight is incorrect. Free guess, Taylor. Uh, number one. One is also incorrect. We put it back into the shuffle. It may come up again. Next fact. Has superhuman strength. Zach, number nine. That is incorrect. Free guess, Taylor. I'll read the whole thing for you. Has superhuman strength unless drunk. Uh, number five. Five. Fujisawa Sensei from El Hazard is the right answer. All right, Taylor. You're up two nothing now. Face comes off. Next fact. Has pinpoint accuracy, which makes him a great pitcher when he wants to be. When he wants to be. Ren Mihashi from Big Windup is the right answer. All right. Excellent. Two to one is the score. Face comes off. It looks like this might go down to the wire. I love it. All right. Next fact was made immortal by the god of hell. Zach. Number seven. Seven. I am a hell girl is the right answer. All right. Four now. Two to two. Base comes off. Next fact. First name is Alex. Taylor. Number nine. Alex Lewis Armstrong is the right answer. All right. Taylor, you are one away from 10,500 yen in prizes. Zach, you need to get this in order to stay in. Favorite food is shrimp. Zach, number one. Number one, Ika Musume, Squid Girl is the right answer. All right, so here we go. And we've gone through all nine facts, which means I'm going to shuffle them up. Face comes off. Anticipation is very important here. The next correct answer is a win. All right. Next fact. Is involved in a literal... Zach for the win? Number four. In a literal gender war, Hibiki Tokai from Vandred is the right answer, and Zach, you have won the game! The other two, Haruhi has brontophobia, which is the fear of thunder. Fear of Thunder, is Brontosaurus, Thunder uh, thunder Lizard, Brontophobia, Fear of Thunder, all right? And uh, finally, shares the same English voice actor as Brock and James in Pokemon as Gallery from Slayers has the same. It's Eric Stewart for all of those. So I would have known that, if I had known that at opening ceremonies, I could have won a poster. Uh, so congratulations, Zach. You have won 10,100 yen in prizes, which means you have $125 to spend in our suitcase of prizes. So congratulations to you. And uh, Taylor, we've got to say goodbye.
25, but you've won $25 yourself to spend the price, okay? So we've got two winners up here on stage. Audience, that's face off. What did you think? Thank you so much. If you liked it, make sure to like me on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash Grego's Game Shows. If you've got a smartphone, you can do it right now. Otherwise, do it when you get home. You can see a video from this or all our other game shows from Subasa Khan. Thank you so much. This is Grego from Face Off saying so long.